Hi, welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. We're taking a look at the Stag EDB34. Uh, this is a four-string upright bass, as you can see. I mean, it's not all of an upright bass. Uh, it's a three-quarter scale, and also there's no resonant chamber. This is just an electric instrument. Uh, Stag, you may know as making uh, high-quality speaker cables. Uh, this is not a speaker cable, this is a bass. So how good can you expect a bass to be from a company that primarily makes speaker cables? Turns out pretty good. How much can you expect to pay for a bass made by a company that primarily makes speaker cables? About 600 bucks, which is pretty darn reasonable considering what most electric upright basses cost. This bass is an all maple construction. It's maple neck, maple things over here, <laughs> maple body, it's got a maple bridge here. Well, no, the bridge is plastic, actually. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But the uh, end pin, well, not the end pin, but the tail piece here is maple. So really, the only thing here we've got that's not maple, other than the strings and the electronics and the tuners, uh, is the bridge here. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, the onboard electronics to this bass are very interesting. And... Uh, and they sound pretty decent, as you could hear in the intro. Uh, they're also very simple. We've got something called sub bass, which is your, your tone control. And right now I've got sub bass all the way up. Which I think uh, makes this bass sound really good when it's plugged in direct. If we roll sub bass all the way back, You can hear it's still kind of got a nice low tone. It's just not quite as, um, I don't know, beefy. However, when you plug this bass directly into an amplifier, you definitely want to have sub bass rolled down a little bit. The output from this bass is really, really hot. So you're going to easily overdrive uh, a, a tube-based uh, bass combo if you have the gain set at the same place you're typically uh, used to having your electric bass uh, set to. So it definitely sounds good through uh, bass amplifiers. Just be aware that the output is a lot hotter. You can also, of course, attenuate that with the volume control. So like I said, the scale of this bass is uh, similar to that of a three-quarter scale upright bass, which is actually a pretty common scale even for professional players. A full-size upright bass is uh, like, you know, carpal tunnel factory. The action on this bass is actually pretty good and very reminiscent of an upright bass. If you're used to playing an upright bass, this is going to be an easy switch for you. Uh, it comes with these sort of wire attachment things um, one of them attaches to the right side of the base and presses up against your stomach to uh, give you the proper distance, proper comfortable playing distance from your body. Uh, and then this other triangular looking one uh, kind of gives you the idea of where your, your shoulder would be on your base uh, to kind of help you gauge uh, where the notes in the upper register are. Um, it's helpful, especially if you're used to playing a full size or rather uh, an acoustic three quarter size bass. Now back to the control panel over here, we have an MP3 input and a headphone output, which makes the Stag EDB34 an excellent practice instrument, a silent practice bass. Uh, it is a, an active preamp, active electronics, so it does run off a nine volt battery, so make sure you've got one of those handy. The bass comes with, like I said, these two wings. It does not come with a bow, although you can definitely play it with the bow because of this arched bridge. Uh, the bridge itself is adjustable. It's kind of nice, so you can adjust the action to taste. Um, comes with a gig bag, and it also has an end pin built into it, an adjustable end pin right here. There is an optional stand that you can guess for the, get for the EDB34, but uh, you don't necessarily need it so long as you find the end pin comfortable. The stand provides you with a little bit more stability, 
uh, but the n-pin is uh, uh, plenty to get you by in most situations, I would say. Let's just listen to it a little bit more. Now you hear those ringing overtones? Um, now this bass is just a simple piezo transducer uh, sort of contact electronics for the pickup. Uh, and being that the bass is one, you know, well not one piece, but made entirely of maple. The entire bass uh, uh, kind of uh, gets picked up through this, these pickups. Uh, and especially the strings below the bridge. So it's kind of cool if you want to do some uh, special bowing effects, but if you're primarily just playing finger style, you probably want to get like a piece of rubber or something and wind it between those strings to sort of deaden that, uh, those uh, um, sympathetic resonances. There you go. That is the uh, Stag EDB 34, uh, three quarter scale upright electric bass. Can be bowed, doesn't come with a bow, does come with a gig bag. Uh, sounds pretty excellent for $600. You've been watching GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. See you later.